Okay, hello everybody. Well, uh, now we are going to see some application of the shelving equalizer. So let me put some music. There we go. It's a little, little bit of blues. Well, I'm going to turn the analyzer on. There it is. So as we can see, we have this piece of music. It has pretty much lows, mids and highs and I have activated the low shelf and the high shelf let's try it, I'm going to, to start look that the low shelf is around 100 Hz so let's boost I think you probably heard that but the point with the shelving is that you are not, are, are not affecting only the 100 but also all these zones, so you have an excess of low frequency. So if we cut it, we have the opposite. It's a kind of filter, but the filter is like a complete attenuation, and, and here the attenuation stops. So if I change the frequency, the shelving could help me to ri rise a, a, a large amount of frequencies which could be good but also could be bad let's try with the high shelf I get in more bright and I could move the frequencies so with the shelving I have a very general equalization but the problem is that I could uh, I could over equalize for example I could leave only mid frequencies if I take this down and I take this down so it is a kind of band pass so um, it is very easy to use but actually it's a little hard to uh, to, to use in the correct way I mean because it's easy to over, to over equalize so there it is off okay so in general what we could say about the shelving equalizer is it's okay for a general equalization like this for music but for uh, individual instruments it may not be the best tool